let's talk about painting composition or line of design. We have six sketches uh, showing you different composition styles and a, a, an example of each style. So we're going to start with the S or Hogarth curve. You notice that's created by the light in the sky coming down through the trees, the forest there, and then the in the foreground, the path. Here's the example. This is one of my favorite places for walking around Peggy's Cove and Dover area. Uh, notice the path takes you in to the left and behind the rocks and, then, um, and the light in the sky takes you out through the right. You see that S there. That's the Hogarth curve. Very pleasant. Probably the most used composition style. Next is the L shape. Very simple and clean and easy to do. And here's the example. Notice the trees are the L. The uh, point is the base. And your eye travels from the uh, bottom of the water over to the right and then up through the light in the sky. Next is the triangular shape. It's very similar to an L except the triangle is all filled in. And here's the example. Bouliers Lake was one of the favorite places we went fishing when we were kids. Notice the triangular shape is caused by the shape of the trees and the rocks. And also there is the S curve there if you notice. The pink in the sky, then down through the white, and through the uh, water. That gives you that kind of S shape. It's a little combination there. You have the right to add and combine styles uh, as you please. Next is the uh, vertical triangle. And that's, again, easy to do. Look at the sample. Here's the uh, trees out on Moser's Island. You know that's one of my favorite places to walk as well. But the shape of the trees causes the triangle along with the base underneath. Next is the C shape. And this is caused by the branches in the trees, the trunk of the trees, and the field. And here's the example. This was my uh, grandparents' property. When you came out of the woods, uh, you would see the house on the left. I took the liberty to change it over to the right. And uh, the overhanging branch gives you the top of the sea. The tree and the trunk give you the bottom and then the field, complete the sea. You see that's very pleasing and simple. Try to keep your painting simple uh, when you're starting because it, it's, it's uh, very satisfying when you accomplish something that is easy, please, pleasing to the eye, and it gives you the satisfaction and helps you move on. The last and then probably the most difficult composition style is the X. And uh, here's the example. This is called the Eye of the Ant, this painting. It's the X is caused from the light in the sky and the dandelions. And um, so hopefully these composition styles will be helpful to you as you continue to grow in your painting uh, adventures. And again, thank you for watching.